Alabama as an adult, too, in a very dark time of my life. And I lived in an apartment, and I thought it was super awesome. It was in Huntsville, Alabama, where I thought I'd meet a NASA nerd. What, what? But they only, like, interbreed, so I never really met any. And a lot of rednecks. So anyway, I lived in a renovated apartment. Here's what I didn't get. When they renovated that apartment, they didn't close up all the holes in the walls. Yeah, and I lived next to a country club that had a huge dumpster, and it was next to a river. So can anybody know what that's a perfect recipe for? Yeah, you're there! Rats! She's like, rats! Yes, and I didn't know I had rats, because I used to travel for my job. And I came back from a long trip to Memphis, and my neighbor downstairs goes, Hey, your cat has really been scratching it up there. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a cat, so that's, that's new news. And they went, oh yeah, you do every time you're gone, it just scratches around a lot. And I'm like, ooh, exciting. So I went to the Walmarts. Here's what I discovered. There's Target problems and there's Walmart problems. Have y'all noticed this? Like, Target doesn't sell, you've got a rat infestation. There's no aisle for that in Target. Target's got aisles for wallpaper and glitter and crap, but no, like, rats. Like, but Walmart has a whole section about, like, here's what to do when stuff gotten into your place. So I went to Walmart. <laughs> And I got the biggest, right? It is a different, yeah. Have you noticed that Target has the upset tummy and Walmart has explosive diarrhea? Like, it's just a different life. Like, it's a different life, and I was leading a Walmart life. Anyway, so, I went and bought the biggest rat traps they had, and I lined them up in my apartment, because that's what you're supposed to do, I Googled it. And when I came home from work that day, there was a rat with a trap on his head, just walking around alive. Like, oh, who turned out the lights? This is just what? I can't get back in my hole. What's happening here? He had the trap on his head, you guys, squeaking alive, not anywhere close to it. It's like bit his cheek, you know? It was like, and, and I had four inch tiles, so the rat was eight inches, and there was another eight inches of tail. I mean, this fat was huge. So I called my dad on the phone, I'm like, oh my God, daddy, I don't know what to do. I got a rat. He goes, here's what you're going to do. You're going to put that rat in the Walmart bag, swing it against the wall. <laughs> until it stops screaming. And I'm like, that is not what I'm gonna do. That's, no, that's not what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna walk outside and I'm gonna flag down the first F-150 that comes down the road, and that guy's gonna do that, right? And so that's what happened. This guy comes driving down and I'm like this, in Alabama, right? Nighttime. And this guy pulls over and he goes, yes ma'am. And I said, I need you to come help me kill some in my apartment. And without hesitation, he goes, Let's do this. <laughs> he didn't even ask, like, is it a human? I mean, what are you, what's going on? He's like, I'm oh, in, we're gonna kill something? Yeah, baby, right? He comes walking in the apartment, takes one look at the rat and goes, oh, that is a huge rat. What do you want me to do about that? And I'm like, well, you're gonna put it in the Walmart bag. <laughs> you're gonna sling it around until it stops screaming. He was such a good sport, and he did it, and it was as gruesome as you'd imagine. But here's what was crazy. You ready? This is the crazy part. He goes, can I take this home to my wife? I'm like, what? <laughs> so I've never been married, but I, I imagine it's like a point system. Like, it was like, I need extra credit. I've been kind of a jerk this week. I need to prove to her that I killed some lady's rat, right, and like get me up on that. I don't know what that equals in marital math, but I was happy to let him have it. I mean, maybe it was just like, I need to explain why I was in some lady's apartment there was lots of screaming. I'm not sure <laughs> what happened there. Uh, I'm a photographer by trade. That's, that's what I've done the past, uh, I don't know, 20 years since I got out of school. So I, of course, took a portrait of this rat before its untimely demise. And I took it to, uh, oh, don't be sad. It had so many brothers we met later that week. Um, that mama had lots of babies. Anyway, I took it to the, to the rental office and I showed it to the exterminator and the exterminator said, that is a gorgeous picture of a Norwegian riffraff. Can we have that for our files? 